What options are available to manage or treat Barrett's esophagus? Uh, there are a variety of options to treat Barrett's esophagus, and they're based typically on the degree of abnormality present within the region of Barrett's. For patients with lower risk Barrett's, those without dysplasia, we typically follow them with surveillance biopsies obtained within the region of Barrett's every three years. For patients with more advanced disease, such as low grade or high grade dysplasia, they can be followed at more close intervals with surveillance biopsies between every three and 12 months, or undergo elimination of the lesion itself either through a combination of ablation or endoscopic mucosal resection. Ablation can be done by either burning off the tissue or by freezing it. We usually use radiofrequency ablation to burn the tissue or liquid nitrogen or carbon dioxide to freeze it. For patients who have mucosal resection, this technique allows us to actually remove the entire area of abnormality, similar to a small surgical specimen, which allows us to not only diagnose what was there, but also to remove it. Patients benefit sometimes from a combination of these therapies, and the end result is allow us to endoscopically manage patients with dysplasia who may have previously required surgery.